Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. This video is going to be focusing on dealing with and effectively using organ guns. They're a unit that I've struggled with in the past, especially when trying to come up with a good counter. They've recently gone through some changes, so it seems like a good time to sit down and take a look. Let's check them out. Organ guns are the unique unit of the Portuguese from the African Kingdom's expansion. They're 80 wood and 60 gold after the Portuguese discount, which makes them comparable in price to a scorpion. In terms of stats, there are quite a few comparisons that can be made. First of all, they're a gunpowder unit, so it makes sense to compare them to other gunpowder options, and they stack up pretty well there. For example, their HP and armor is higher than the hand cannoneer and janissary, which is balanced by their higher cost. There's also some resemblance stats-wise to Conquistadors and Arumbai, or as a beefier version of the Scorpion line in terms of attack and armor. Looking quickly at the Elite upgrade, it adds more HP, attack, and Pierce armor. It's an expensive unit in general, so you want to make sure that you upgrade them and get the most out of them that you can. If we look at some hidden stuff, unlike some other gunpowder units, they don't require chemistry to be researched beforehand. Some implications of their gunpowder status are they will train faster if you have a Turk ally, and they're also countered by the Italian Condottiero, which does 10 bonus damage against gunpowder units. Another hazard of being a gunpowder unit is usually relatively low accuracy, and this is especially true for the organ gun. For a quick comparison, elite organ guns only average about 70% of their damage output from 7 tiles away that they do from 2 tiles. As a reference, hand cannoneers do about 83% as much. That means even within the gunpowder family, the organ gun is particularly inaccurate. In addition to being gunpowder though, they're also a siege unit. That means like any other siege unit, you need redemption researched in order to convert them. They're also repaired and not healed, which means you need a villager and it costs you wood and gold. Another consequence is that they can't garrison in castles or anything like that. This also has implications for how they're upgraded. They don't benefit at all from the blacksmith, and instead they're upgraded at the university. Specifically, Siege Engineers increases their range by 1. You would think that they should do 20% more damage to buildings after Siege Engineers, but that doesn't seem to happen in practice. And in fact, they're terrible against buildings in general. Now besides their gunpowder and siege status, they also have some other unusual qualities. One is that they do spray damage from firing multiple shots at once, though don't get too excited. A lot of that is just for show, and upon closer inspection, four of the five projectiles only do one damage, while the other does the full advertised attack. Sometimes you see a half damage shot, and that's probably the special projectile carrying the full damage, missing its intended target, and would be consistent with what I've seen before with stray arrows. Against bunched up units, you might assume the spray damage adds up to something significant, and it's certainly implied in the tech tree description that it does, but it's actually not that strong. As an example, it's nowhere near the effect size that scorpions can have, and scorpions have a big edge against units that are tightly packed together. Another way in which they are quite comparable to scorpions though is their minimum range. This was recently added and organ guns now need at least one tile between them and their target to start firing, which in practice looks like they're running away from melee units. You can offset that weakness somewhat by keeping them on stand ground, which means when they're being attacked up close, they'll mostly stay put and try to target a different unit outside of their minimum range instead of backing up to fire at the one right in front of them. In practice though, this is still a big nerf, because before the minimum range, units up close were just hit with 100% accuracy. So organ guns used to be more effective up close than they were long range. Now you have to take melee units a bit more seriously. Let's dig a bit deeper though and see how they stack up against different types of units. First of all, they do well against grouped up infantry and perform basically the same as hand cannoneers, but with a higher cost. They don't have an anti-infantry bonus, but their higher attack and extra projectiles roughly balance that out. Against infantry with high pierce armor, there is a slight edge to hand cannoneers, but it's still pretty comparable. You might think organ guns have the advantage in close combat because of their extra HP, 
but their minimum range means they'll spend a lot of time running away, and again come out looking pretty similar to hand cannoneers. They're also very strong against skirmishers, who only do one damage per shot. To me, this is the big advantage over hand cannoneers, and they hold up a lot more like scorpions against ranged units. That's pretty unique for gunpowder, which typically gets countered very cost effectively by skirmishers. I remember some early games around African Kingdom's release where the Oregon gun threw off some people's intuition about that, thanks to their surprisingly high pierce armor. If they're being attacked by skirmishers, you can basically ignore them and focus fire other more expensive and threatening units. So if infantry and archers aren't the answer, then you might try cavalry. This is a lot more effective now that organ guns have minimum range, and even outnumbered, light cavalry can do a lot of damage. Likewise, a large group of paladins are also going to be able to overpower them. I find it smart to pair organ guns with halberdiers to prevent light cavalry in particular from getting too close. Overall, cavalry are a manageable weakness, with even a pretty basic unit composition. Their true weakness, I'd say, is other siege. Siege onagers are the best because they can take out several in one shot, but even regular onagers are effective if you have enough of them. A good idea as Portuguese is to mix organ guns with bombard cannons so they can target the onagers, and the organ guns clean up any incoming infantry or skirmishers. In fact, that's the common Portuguese late game army that I see the most. Organ guns, bombard cannons, and then adding in either halberdiers against cavalry, or bombard towers for a bit more support. Scorpions are generally pretty effective since organ guns work best if they're massed up in a large group. Bombard cannons or mass trebuchets are also effective if they're defended, and if you want to go for cheese factor, you can take out an organ gun with a ram in two hits. The only siege unit I can think of that doesn't counter organ guns well is the siege tower. It's not your fault, Siege Tower, it's just the way they made you. But that's all for this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.